and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today we are using some earthy tone colours. I have iridescent white, I have gold uh, which is deep gold and 24 karat gold. I've got some extreme sheen bronze, I've got some almond which has a small amount of Van Dyke brown in it. I have some titanium light, buff light and mixed with a little bit of pearl white. I've got some burnt sienna, some Van Dyke brown and some Payne's grey. I'll be doing a test um, for what I'd like to do on my big canvas. So I'm going to be putting down some of the Payne's grey and then I'm going to fill this cup, turn it upside down, poke a hole in it, drag it and then I am going to do a swipe using my oxide black swipe mix uh, through it and then stretch it out. So let's get started. All right, let's start with the Payne's Grey. I'm just going to spread that out a little bit. Now, you're probably wondering why I've laid it down this way. So I'm going to put my cup here and I'm going to drag that way. So I don't really need it here. But I would like to paint my corners. So I'm going to do that with my finger. that aside I'm going to get my cup and I'm going to start filling it. Uh, I'm going to put some of this burnt sienna first and I'm going to try and go for reasonably thick layers. I'm going to go gold next. Buff light, some almond, some white, bronze, Van Dyke brown. Sienna, iridescent white, all right let's try that. And it's been a while since I flipped a cup, let's see how we go. sitting just going to put a bit more of the uh, paint gray down so I'm going to drag that through the middle so I might just pull it back here a bit drag it through the middle um, and then I'm going to get my swipe tool where is it this one here and I'm going to choose a spot I possibly might use this one as well uh, choose a spot to swipe my oxide black through mm. Release the air. Mm. 
Hmm. I wish I hadn't done that. But guess what? I can swipe through there. Yeah, I think I'm going to swipe through there and I think I'm going to leave that because that looks gorgeous. So I'm going to swipe. Something like that. Look at that developing. Oh my goodness. I did not expect that. Alright, let's uh the oxide black happening. <laughs> this is yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to just add a little bit of cream. Buff light. And maybe a little bit of this almond. Shall we put a dot? You never know. Right, let's try that. I don't know. I don't know if I want to muck that up too much. I kind of like the way it's formed. All right, I'm not going to. I'm going to stretch that out the way it is. Let's stretch this. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, I do want to add some little bits to this. Maybe some Van Dyke Brown. Let's go back the other way. I'm not going to go all the way with that one. I don't know if I stretched that very well. So I'm not really sure what I think of that about this bit through the middle. But I do love the way that those paints reacted without the swipe. Yeah. Okay. It's a lot redder. So I'm gonna have to go easy on the burnt sienna when I do the big piece. The rest of it I like. I'll bring it in for the wet result. Right, here is the wet result. Lots of orange. We've got the good lacing through there with the, that was created using the swipe. And then this lacing through here was just from cells popping up uh, from the flip cup. 
So that was really interesting. Hmm. I like the shading through here as well, with the dark. It'd be nice to have had that sort of on this end as well, but I overstretched it, I guess. See the sides. Yeah. So I will show you that one when it's dry. We'll see how much shine it has. And uh, it's given me some good thoughts for this big one. I don't think I want to use as much of the burnt sienna. Um, and I think I would like to do two of the uh, two flip cups. And if they look fine on their own, I won't go back over it. Um, it might just be flip cups. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll bring you back when it's dry. So here is the dry result. And we'll have a look at the shine. It's got a fair amount of shine through there. I like that shine up there. Through the lacing, that's quite good. And if you have a look here in the corner, do you see that colour shining in the corner? That's the almond colour. That's the pigment that I mixed in the paint mixing video, uh, the last one I did. Oh, that's interesting through there too. Kind of looks uh, like another planet in this section. And then um, we've got some beautiful lacing up through here. And I love the blend. This blend here reminds me a bit of the uh, snake serpenty type lacing that I did a few videos back. Yeah, so let me know what you think of that one in the comments below and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!